One day, uh, when I was uh, 12 or 13, my mother took me to the, to the movie. And uh, I remember uh, the great theater and in front of it uh, a poster of the film and it was a western. So uh, it was a kind of film I saw, I saw at, uh, at 12 or 13. And my mother said, OK, we shall go to see that film. And it was wrong. The poster was next week film. And this week it was House of Dracula, a film by Elsie Kenton. And I remember <laughs> my mother loved because it was, uh, well, it was uh, for uh, an adult, it was laughing. But me, I was completely scared. It was mm -hmm. horrible. And after this film, I dream every night of the real world particularly, you know, it was Long Chanet and it was a transformation, fantastic. Great uh, special effect for this period. And I was completely terrorized by the, the Watchman and after, uh, the, it was double programmation, you know. First film was Hours of Dracula and uh, the second film, it was a one hour and ten minutes film, you know. The second film was the last of uh, Universal film, uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. And in that film, they put everything. Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, the mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was completely, completely crazy, completely mad. And many years, many years after, uh, probably I choose to make vampire film to exorcise what I was so, what I've been so afraid by. <laughs> now I find on video those two films I saw when I was young. And sometimes I, I look <laughs> and me, I, well, I'm still a little uh, deranged by those films. You know, <laughs> you know when uh, I was young, uh, after school, we are going to the railroad station in Paris, and in the railroad station there was uh, very little cinetas for people who was waiting a train or somewhere. Uh, it's called Cineac, and in the Cineac they, they show. Uh, half an hour or an hour seconds and uh, they have to show li little films and they show serials, you know and I, I saw there uh, Mysterious Dr. Satan uh, <laughs> all that kind of thing, Return of the Who uh, Tom Mix, Miracle Rider all ah. that things and we were completely, completely fascinated by those kind of cinema and uh, Gifu Manchu and so on. And so uh, the new vampire is something like that. It's a kind of mysterious serial. For me, I shoot the film in that kind uh, of, uh, of spirit, you know. I live, when I was young, a very, very long uh, imagination period, you know. Uh, television doesn't exist. We were every week at the cinema. Uh, we, we read uh, comics. Uh, he was uh, to be continued every week. Uh, we play the same per people. We play at uh, Phantom, Mandrake's Magician and so on. And we had a very rich life, imagination life, you know. Uh, now people look television or uh, where the, the telefilm are complete and completely marshaled, pre prepared. There is no, nothing left for the imagination. And when I was young, it was the contrary. We are uh, a very rich living in, the, in our mind. And I put it back now in the film. When I, I make the uh, first uh, ki that kind of film, I want to make something personal, something we don't is like exactly like all the films I, I saw before, you know. And uh, my personal vision of the of the thing was really uh, a poetic vision, you know. And I don't need a cross or something like that. I just need pretty girls and pretty graveyards, pretty cemetery, and pretty castle, and everything like that. When I, I see uh, a cemetery or a 
Kassel, or uh, something like that, immediately I have image to come. And those images need uh, a girl in a gown, uh, in a white gown, uh, uh, something like that, and don't need all the superstitious things. Most of those kind of film put religion on it, to put the, the cross and everything. But I, really, I think we don't need that. I don't need religion. Uh, vampire movies, for me, is something poetic, you know, and we don't need religion. What for? I don't know where did, he, where did he came from, but uh, I put that same scene in uh, some of my books and in another film, uh, Killing Car, and uh, in the, ne the next movie. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, for me it's, uh, it's an image I like. It's an image of, of mystery, you know, because uh, that clock, it's a time, and uh, something inside, it's a running time. There is something strange uh, between the, the, uh, around the time. I don't remember why we don't put things, but maybe, maybe for make the vampire more credible, more natural, you know. In France, at this period, when people saw big this the loaf. Oh, I don't want the loaf of my vampire, <laughs> my personal vampire. It was very important to me that, that saying it was showing how the two girls was close, uh, was friend, you know, and that was a, a manner to show that. But probably there is a meaning. But I can, I can say what? Maybe a psychiatrist can say why there is always two girls, why it's mm. not. I don't know. All the women in these movies are very young, are very asexual. Because I think Jean is an artist, you know, he has many, many things in his head. And he has a problem with, uh, with, with sexuality, I think. Uh, and uh, I think he, he has a problem with a real woman. It was bad, was, which was selling to make pâté, eat. Decorator mm -hmm. keeps the bats, uh, put some uh, bears in his flat. They, he keeps the bats many years. They live uh, at his home during five or six years. <laughs> you know, after um, two or three weeks with those two bats, it was impossible to, to kill her, to kill it, to, to give a bat to the, to the butcher. Who said it's the, the, the race of the bats? Uh, it's not vampires. But one day, in the winter, I find uh, at my window in Paris a little vampire. Like that. Just me, two, a very, very little one. He was frozen. Mm. I take it. Uh, put it on, in a cotton, you know, and give him uh, meat to eat, steak, and uh, I, I keep it uh, some days, and when the weather was hotter, I put it on the window and he fly, he fly. 
Et donc, rien n'est, mon père, il frappe la face, dit, long hair, enfin, so on. It was very uh, emotional for me to, see, to find that on my window. At the beginning, we were making forbidden film, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, there was a kind of mind uh, very particular because we were shooting things which were uh, forbidden uh, so a few months ago. <laughs> Now it's not, not the same thing, but at this period, It was a little stimulating to, to can film uh, everything we were we can't we cannot film uh, before. I think Jean Jean wasn't um, a director for uh, porno movies. I think he, he did that uh, because he maybe in 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 his money uh, I, I don't know exactly, but uh, it's not. Uh, It's not for him. He, he was very, very, ch very shy. I remember my my my, uh, my film, my movie I, I did with him. Uh, during the, the porno scenes, he <laughs> was outside. It's not a, a problem of to be good or, or bad actress. It's just a problem if you if you show sex in. A, Any any sort of um, of uh, heart, uh, you are dangerous. So if 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 they can punish you, uh, they do it. And I think um, the actress of uh, actor is uh, the most uh, exposed because um, he, <laughs> he gives uh, his own uh, body. <laughs> So it's it's uh, inacceptable for the for the, the people. You know, w when you see a, a paint or um, you read a, a book, an erotic book, uh, there is a, a barrier. No, when I saw Brigitte for the first time in that kind of film, uh, she was so strange, so bizarre uh, that I say, when I make a, if I make a gain. Um, a film of a matter what I like, a vampire or something like that, I want that girl. And I went two or three years, and I said to her every, every month, Brigitte, it's come. <laughs> she, don't be, she don't believe it. And one day I say, okay, I, can, I have a, a part for, for you. It was Raison de la Mort. And she came and she made uh, the play and she discovered the pleasure to make a real film. <laughs> it was in um, Raison de la Mort because it was very, very, very cold. And uh, it was uh, difficult to undress myself. <laughs> and um, all, all bodies are many, many, many coats. And uh, I was nude. And it's, uh, it's very horrible. Memory, but the, the sequence is so nice. I can. I can forgive him now. I like improvisation very much, especially in fascination, because I have a splendid actress, splendid chateau probably the slaughterhouse, everything, and I can, I was free to make exactly what I want. If I want to make a close shot, a, anything, I have no producer to, to tell me what I have to do. So, uh, it was great to make you filming. I like that. that, that that's strange, because I don't remember that. It's not the same story for me. Maybe, uh, I'm wrong, but I remember I, I had a script with uh, dialogues, and uh, I remember uh, the evening learning the the the, the words the words. Sorry. Uh, so for me, there was a script, but maybe maybe Jean wants to 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 give a legend.
Qui êtes-vous Une femme de chambre Je... Je suis la camériste de Madame la Marquise. Comment vous appelle-t-on Combien de domestiques au château Je... Je suis seule. Non, j'ai vu quelqu'un d'autre tout à l'heure. C'était Elisabeth. C'est la dame de compagnie de Madame la Marquise. Je vous jure que nous sommes seuls en ce moment. La cuisinière et le domestique arrivent demain avec Monsieur le Marquis et Madame. Tous sont à Paris. Nous sommes venus pour mettre de l'ordre et préparer la chambre de Madame. Et But after, if a director can help us to go, to go more and more, uh, it's bet I think it's better. But now Jean is um, a best director because I think it, he was very, very shy when he was uh, younger. And uh, I think it's that he prefers, he prefers improvisation. And now I think it, He can now uh, ask what he wants really, but it was a, a sort of compromis. <laughs> At the beginning, I was very afraid of the good actors. And actors. <laughs> I prefer, I, I cannot. Who, who I can, it's very, very difficult to write for a man. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Because I prefer film a, a girl, maybe. But uh, I, I am one of the French directors who can write a very great play for, for an, act, an actress. And uh, each time, the actress says, oh, it's an interesting play. And the man, more, more. <laughs> Nos armes à nous sont silencieuses. Nous sommes deux. Vous êtes seul. Vous êtes à notre pouvoir. Nous tenons votre vie. Les pièces d'or qui sont dans votre sac. <rire> que va-t-on faire de lui Tout à l'heure, tu semblais vouloir le violer. Pourquoi pas Il est joli garçon. Il ne provoque pas. During fascination, the, the, uh, I, I kept the good memories, but there was uh, um, some difficulties because the, the producer uh, and Charola wasn't agree about many things, so it was uh, sometimes difficult, but. Um, Uh, there was a very good uh, crew, you know, very, very, very happy to work for, for this movie. And, uh When I want to make a closer, I don't make a zoom, I make a pop-up. You know, uh, I think it's harder, it's better. I don't like uh, zoom or something like that. I prefer... I don't know to say it in English. Raccord on l'axe. The same axe. Tac, tac. to have a traveling or something like that. <laughs> For when uh, the camera have to move, we take it in my hands. Uh, those telecam doesn't exist. Uh, uh, or uh, with uh, a car or uh, something like that. You know, uh, you know, a chair with uh, wheels. Oh, wheelchair, yes. yes. <laughs> I try to don't use zoom. I don't like zoom. I prefer moving camera. So it's not easy. First, It was the budget. After, it was my, it was my kind of filming, you know. I think, uh, I, 
it's stupid to say that, but I prefer have a little budget because I must fight. Uh, fight with the uh, with, uh, with everything, you know, to make my film. And it's simulating somewhere. I make a um, storyboard of the film. And uh, now I don't use. I, all, all the directing is improvisation, practically. During the shooting of Fascination, uh, I realized after one or two days, uh, um, I did something that my mother can see. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, you know what I mean. And that's that was new for me because I think when I did uh, porno movies, I did it for myself. And maybe when I did my my first movies, uh, I did for the um, looking from other people. And maybe at this time I realized uh, I could be uh, somebody uh, important. We make uh, another porno film, and I say, listen, if I can make for the same price, for the price of a porno film, a real film, what do you say? Say, okay. So I have the budget of a two version porno film, particularly uh, 40,000 dollars. American dollars? Yeah. And uh, I, I shot the film with uh, porno actors, uh, particularly in uh, eight or ten days. I had to fight with the producer because I put some sh things completely crazy in the film. <laughs> the young guy comes to the tower, you know, the great tower where everybody is enclosed, and he finds a guardian and he, make, he dance with her. <laughs> Ça suffit avec vos simagrées. Où est-elle Ah oui, c'est... What, what is that Where are you... Are you mad to shoot uh, such a scene Ça y est. Non, oui, c'est un big storm and when we were uh, inside the tower, the tower move. <laughs> It's difficult to... 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 to, to, to have a... Uh, a good point of view of y your own work, you know. Ça ne fait rien, Véronique. Je me sens partir à mon tour. Je ne sais plus où nous sommes, qui nous sommes. L'angoisse est là. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on nous a fait? Mon esprit se vide. Il se ferme. Dis. Dis-moi comment tu t'appelles. It was a good, um, a good part for me because it, she is uh, very in secret, very, very in, in, in her own, own uh, world. I feel like that sometimes, you know, um, and maybe uh, I give that in, the, in this part. Et voilà, comme les autres, elles sont mortes. It was easier because I have uh, nothing to do, just uh, just be in my in my in my own uh, world and the, the camera goes to me. I don't try to, to go to the, to the camera. And uh, I think it's, it's more than that I can play. You, you understand what I mean? I'm not uh, extroverty. I, I it's, it's some, 
it's it's for that I like to to, to write. I, I don't like to, to 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 have to go to people. I prefer they they they, they have um, the, the desire to go to go with uh, to to. Uh, is um, understand me very very well and I think he can find um, what I have uh, it's, it's you, you know la nuit des traqués it's not it's not um, so uh, ça, a priori ça ne ressemble pas mais la, la force de Jean c'est d'avoir su prendre une partie de moi qui n'était pas apparente et c'est sans doute ça qui donne le, la force de l'interprétation. Um, what Brigitte said was that uh, uh, Mr. Roland has, has a way of, uh, of getting certain performances out of uh, Brigitte that, uh, that a person wouldn't necessarily see in her. And uh, that's his gift, the gift of being able to, uh, to, to, bring, to bring these types of um, characters out of Brigitte. For European people, uh, some images of this film are terrible because they remind uh, last uh, World War II. It's the people uh, clothed in train, uh, cremation, and uh, so on. It, it reminds something terrible, you know. When I, I was uh, very young, uh, seven or eight years, we saw at the cinema or, or relay people who came back from the concentration camp and, and so on and it was, uh, I remember that, it was terrible and uh, probably unconsciously I put that on, in my script. Laissez-moi l'achever. Son cerveau est détruit. Les cellules sont mortes. Alors, elle est comme un animal. Même pas. Comme une plante. Elisabeth
it's a friend uh, of mine named uh, Jean-Pierre Bouixou, uh, screenwriter. He said, oh, I find uh, somewhere near Paris uh, a bridge, an old bridge. Uh, very, is, is very interesting for you. I saw that bridge and I, say, I said to myself, one day I put something on that bridge. And when I write the script of Night of the Hundred, I said, at the ending, I put Brigitte on that bridge. I don't go very often to, to see leaders because I've, uh, I'm sick, you know. So uh, every two days I'm at the hospital. Diabetes, you know. I hope uh, one day I shall take a grief. But uh, for now on, uh, I am at the hospital every two days. So there is no very many time left to me to go to the cinema. <laughs> I am too tired to, to make a fight for making a film. Too difficult, because uh, the kind of film I shot, uh, now it's finished. Uh, B picture, you know what is B picture? B picture, there is no more oscillators to show it, uh, only maybe television, that's all. So, uh, I have, if I make a reflection about that, I have two films. I want to make again before dying. <laughs> uh, I want to make uh, the last I have right, and it's, maybe it's possible to do it. It's a Bride of Dracula. And uh, an adaptation of a book I wrote some years ago, uh, which name... Uh, what is it called? The last book we have published. The Statue La Statue de Cher. Uh, the Statue of Flesh. Yeah. It's a nice title. Yeah. The Statue of Flesh is right for Bridget. <laughs>